Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to subtract mixed number fractions. So the problem here is 10 and 11 twelfths minus eight and one half. And there's a couple different approaches you could take uh, to do this problem. Of course, we don't want to use our calculators. So put those calculators away. And if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then we'll talk about two different approaches you could take to solve this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of uh, categorize the way you can approach this problem as you have basically two options. You can do the harder way or you can do the easy way. Now, some of you might uh, see this hard way. You'll be like, no, no, I like doing it that way. And I got the right answer. If that is the case, that's perfectly fine. But in my opinion, uh, this, uh, this approach will be easier. And then, of course, this approach involves a little bit more number crunching. But either way, as long as you understand both techniques, that's what's important. Okay, And it is important to understand both approaches to doing this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So what I would say is the hard way okay, to approach this problem is to turn these uh, mixed number fractions into improper fractions. Okay, In other words, here we have 10 and 11 twelfths. So if I wanted to write this again, uh, this mixed number into an improper fraction, I would go 12 times 10. That's not too bad, right? So 12 times 10, that's um, 120. Uh, then you're going to take that 120 and add 11 to it. So you're going to have 131 over 12. So now, you know, it's a little bit extra work. Uh, these numbers, uh, this 10 here obviously makes this multiplication pretty easy. But then we got to do the same thing here. So we have 2 times 8, that's 16 plus 1. So this would be 17 halves. So this is what I would say is a little bit of the harder way. Now, in this particular problem, we don't have common denominators. So we would have to find the LCD. Hopefully you recognize that the LCD here is 12. So to fix this up, we would just simply have to multiply this by 6 and then 17 by 6. So we'd have to do some multiplication here, and then we would have to track uh, uh, the difference, right? So this is one approach to doing uh, this problem, okay? Now, another approach, all right, is um, what I'm going to classify as the easy way. Now, if you did the problem this way, that's perfectly fine. And you do need to understand how to do, um, how to write mixed number fractions into improper fractions and do a problem like this, right? But let's see another way we can handle this problem because we are dealing with mixed numbers, right? So when you have a mixed number fraction, we need to kind of conceptualize each one of these numbers, okay? So 10 and 11 twelfths, let's just talk about what a mixed number means. Well, this means 10 plus 11 twelfths. So we can really think of it as 10 plus 11 twelfths. That's what this value is right here, 10 plus 11 twelfths. Now we're taking away, we're gonna subtract away eight and one half. So we gotta subtract an eight away, and then we also gotta subtract a one half away. So in total, we wanna subtract eight and one half. So if you look at the problem this way, okay, you can kind of shuffle these numbers around and make this problem much easier. Okay, so again, well, let me kind of go back up here. So we're going to think of uh, 10 and 11 twelfths as 10 plus 11 twelfths, and we're going to take away 8 and another 1 half, which so are a total of 8 and 1 half. So when we do this, let's just go ahead and uh, grab these easy numbers, 10 and minus 8, right? So 10 uh, take away 8. Uh, or 10 minus 8 is right here. Of course, we know that that's going to be 2. Uh, so we can kind of basically add up all these numbers. But when it comes to adding numbers, uh, the order isn't important. Okay, like 1 plus uh, 3 plus 4 is the same thing as 1 plus 4 plus 3. Okay, but then what we can do, uh, we could take care of these two right here, right? get the answer. Of course, we know it's going to be 2. And then what we really have to just concentrate on is 11 minus 1 half. So dealing with this fraction right here, 
uh, or this uh, subtraction problem is much easier the, than to deal with this uh, fraction problem here. Again, we don't have a calculator. You know, we don't want to use a calculator. So now let's go ahead and finish this problem up. All right, so again, 10 minus 8 will be 2, and 11 twelfths minus 1 half. Uh, of course, we don't have common denominators. The common denominator, or the lowest common denominator, is 12. So all we have to do is multiply this denominator by 2 to get a 12. I'm sorry, a 6 to get a 12. So 6 times 2 is 12. And then uh, when we multiply the denominator by 6, we've got to multiply the numerator by 6 as well. So now we have 11 twelfths minus 6 twelfths, okay? And of course, 6 twelfths is the same thing as 1 half. And now we can simply subtract the numerators, right? So we're talking about basic subtraction of fractions. So we keep that same denominator, 12, and we subtract the numerators. 11 minus 6 is 5, so this will be our answer here. So this part is 5 twelfths, and we already answered what uh, 10 minus 8 is. That's 2. So this is 2 and 5 twelfths, or we could write it just like this, 2 and 5 twelfths. If you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.